Hello again. Do you remember that AB amplifier I fixed uh, a while ago? Okay, today it's time to have some tests to see if it's working or not. And uh, I have my Nano VNA hooked on the computer. The software is up and running. Yeah, we got power. Let me secure this. Of course, I'll use a 20 dB attenuator. The output is very hot. It's supposed to be. <laughs> you know, these amplifiers, they have a around uh, 11 dB on RX amplification. And let's see what's happening here. Okay, this is okay. Now we have to. All right, almost there. Okay, let me have 820 megahertz to 900 megahertz. Let me have the calibration. This is nice using the software. You don't have to calibrate all the time. I mean, physically calibration. And let's run a test. Okay, so uh, these cables are good for nothing. I have to check. I have to check all this uh, setup and all the cables and everything. So uh, rule number one, get rid of adapters and cables and all kind of as much as possible. So, okay. So we have the output connected to channel zero or nano VNA and the input is connected to channel one through a 20 dB attenuator. An adapter here, of course. And if we uh, calibrate to 800 and 2900, okay, we just did that. And let's sweep. And we have for 868 megahertz, check the red mark, number one here. We have a really nice amplification of 8.951 dB. So this is supposed to deliver 11 dB. We have 20 minus 9 dB, let's say it's exactly 11. So it's working very, very good. It's working very well. Now, if I'm taking this out, we should see the blue light lighting because the nano DNA is sweeping the frequencies and it's triggering, you see, it's triggering the TX on the amplifier. So I may say this is a working amplifier. To be sure about that, let me test one of mine. I know for sure that it's working. So this one was one of the transistors I replaced. Fixing this, okay, power on. This one have another connectors already prepared for connecting to the amplifier. Here we should go with adapter. Okay, let me try another cable. There we go. And zip. And I got here minus 7.9 so i may say a better amplification with 1 db or something but that's because the cables and the connectors okay and it's pretty linear too let me try to make something like this 500 megahertz to 1200 all right so we can see there is no filter you know, this, these amplifiers are not specially done for a certain frequency, but anyway, it, it's a kind of band pass filter anyway, a very large one, because it starts amplifying from almost 650 and going almost flat up to 1000 
and 60 or something anyway let me check that one with the same connectors the other one means the fixed one look look here you see it's going on the x that means it's working well okay again to the fix it guy okay where are adapters okay <laughs> kind of crazy and let's see what's happening oh no <laughs> no power of course and look here very good results 800 then let's say maximum gain at 997 megahertz 871 we have minus 7.8 very good results very very good results but so far i can see a slightly better amplification to 900 than or even more 990 yeah okay so this is very clear the eric's part of the things it's working yes it should now if we take it out we should see that the x running and this is a fixed amplifier good results very good results as a rule try to avoid as much as possible adapters cables it's always a mess with these guys i just fixed this one and i see that i don't have the middle pin anymore look there it's just in okay so that's it for today i'm gonna have a tx test in the next episode for now i'm happy this is a fix so these amplifiers can be fixed and uh, also very good results for rx but as much as i can see there is no 868 or 950 something you know somehow they have a wide band so even if you buy one of these cheap guys you know for 333 you are not reaching our band you know uh, you are not reaching the european or uh, australian american band no because the, they moved the whole band a couple of okay more than uh, let's say 300 400 megahertz down to 433 or 510 megahertz okay so it needs to be labeled or uh, you know made for 868 or 915 you know for uh, getting a useful role in uh, mining helium thank you for now please like subscribe and of course don't forget to have fun bye bye